Sunday, October 1st, 2023, Afternoon Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AGNDD and Telereport. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Three zodiac signs with positive horoscopes in October. U.S. housing market showing signs of hope. Samsung Galaxy S24 leak reveals new flat-edge design. Vaccine fatigue grows as officials push flu, COVID shots. Quizzes replace ads in Disney's Toy Story game. College football updates featuring Deion Sanders in Colorado. And more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. October 1st in history. October 1st, 965. Pope John XIII is consecrated. October 1st, 1588. The coronation of Shah Abbas I of Persia occurs. Today's obituaries. Jake Abraham, 56 British actor, known for his roles in Blonde Fist, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, and The 51st State. Julian Bahula, brief Wikipedia summary. Julian Bahula was an 85-year-old South African drummer, composer and band leader. He gained recognition as a drummer in the band Malombo and later formed the group Jabula. Bahula was known for promoting the music of his homeland in the UK and organising concerts for political causes. He was awarded the Order of Ikamanga in 2012. Nikolai Bulgakov. Brief Wikipedia summary. Nikolai Bulgakov, a Russian football player and manager, passed away at the age of 63. He had played for teams such as Iskra Smolensk, CSKA Moscow and Kristal Smolensk. Frank McDougall was a Scottish footballer who played for Clyde Bank, St Mirren and Aberdeen. He sadly passed away at the age of 65 due to heart disease. Richie Poulton Brief Wikipedia Summary Richie Poulton, a New Zealand clinical psychologist and director of the Dunedin study, has passed away at the age of 61. He was diagnosed with salivary gland cancer in 2021, which had metastasized and became incurable. Ahmed Sami El Adel, 35, Egyptian actor, producer and assistant television director, suffered a cardiac arrest. And now on to today's news. General News. College football scores updates Deion Sanders, Colorado host Caleb Williams, and USC Yahoo Sports. The first article in this text highlights the exciting college football games that took place during week five. It mentions USC's close win over Colorado, Ole Miss's shootout victory against LSU, and Notre Dame's thrilling last second win over Duke. The article also mentions Kentucky's upset win over Florida and the success of Texas and Georgia in their respective games. With Kremlin apologists leading the polls, Slovakia vote threatens country's support for Ukraine. CNN. Slovakia is holding a parliamentary election that could result in a shift towards closer ties with Russia and a rejection of support for Ukraine. Former Prime Minister Robert Fico, who has expressed affinity for the Kremlin, is the front-runner. The election is seen as a test case for the power of social media and misinformation. Coalition negotiations are likely to be complex, as no single party is expected to secure a majority. The outcome of the election could have significant consequences for Slovakia's relationship with NATO and the EU. Brilliant Harvest Moon, the last supermoon of 2023, wows stargazers around the world. Photos can be found on space.com. The article discusses the harvest moon of September 29, 2023, which was the last of four supermoons of the year. The harvest moon is known for appearing larger and brighter in the sky when it is at or near its perigee, the closest point in its orbit with Earth. 
Photographers around the world captured stunning images of the harvest moon, showcasing its beauty. The next supermoon is not expected until the next harvest moon in September 2024. Nagorno-Karabakh. Armenia says 100,000 refugees flee region. BBC. The speaker in the article believes it is important for witnesses to be present to testify that a group of people were forcibly removed from their ancestral homes, supporting the claim that they were ethnically cleansed from the territory. U.S. housing market is starting to flash some hope for home buyers. Markets Insider. The U.S. housing market is showing signs of improvement for home buyers, with inventory increasing and more sellers lowering their asking prices. Home construction has continued to drive up supply, causing housing inventory to grow, and there are signs that prices may be headed lower. However, high mortgage rates and rising prices continue to impact affordability. Illinois semi-truck crash causes multiple fatalities. Ammonia leak evacuation for residents. CBS News. A semi-truck carrying 7,500 gallons of anhydrous ammonia overturned in Illinois causing a multi-vehicle crash resulting in five fatalities and the evacuation of 500 people. Effingham County Coroner Kim Rhodes reported five deaths, with five individuals being airlifted to hospitals with unknown conditions. The cause of the crash is presently unknown, and the National Transportation Safety Board will conduct an investigation. Business News. The best editor loved travel gear at Amazon, Travel Plus Leisure. The article highlights a selection of travel products that Travel Plus Leisure editors have found useful and affordable on Amazon. These products include a portable door alarm, a portable steamer, a portable charger, a fanny pack, fleece-lined hiking joggers, a digital camera, a backpack, and a crossbody phone case. The editors provide personal testimonials about the usefulness and quality of each product. Elon Musk's dad, 77, says he'd have more kids but only if he could find a woman under 35, Yahoo Finance. Errol Musk, the father of Elon Musk, has stated that he would consider having additional children if he meets the right woman who is below the age of 35. The 77-year-old currently has seven acknowledged children, which includes two from his previous relationship with his stepdaughter. He has also expressed worries about the future care of the child in the event of his passing. Technology news. Samsung Galaxy S24 leak shows 360 degree view of new flat edge design. CNET. The Samsung Galaxy S24 is rumored to have a flat edge design with metal sides, similar to recent iPhones, according to leaked 360 degree renders. The renders also show an ultra wide band antenna on the side of the phone and suggest that the dimensions and display specifications will be similar to its predecessor, the Galaxy S23. These Merrill hiking shoes are 54% off. Travel plus leisure. Merrill has released an updated version of its popular Moab hiking shoe, the Moab 3. The new model features sturdier leather uppers, improved shock absorption, and upgraded Vibram rubber outsoles for better traction. Despite being a newer iteration, the Moab 3 has already received hundreds of perfect ratings and is selling well on Amazon. The shoes are currently on sale with discounts of up to 54% off. Sports news. Quizzes replace traditional ads in Disney's streaming Toy Story football game, Variety. Ball State is sponsoring a unique streaming event that will feature Pixar's Toy Story characters emulating a real-life NFL game. During breaks in the game, All State will present football trivia questions in a Toy Story style. The aim is to reach the audience without disrupting the content. This approach reflects a growing trend of finding alternatives to traditional commercial breaks in streaming services. An update on three injured Tennessee players heading into the matchup against South Carolina on 3.com. Tennessee's preseason All-SEC center Cooper Mays is expected to make his season debut in the game against South Carolina. Running back Jalen Wright and wide receiver Ramel Keaton, who were injured in the previous game, are also set to play. Tennessee is seeking revenge after their loss to South Carolina last season. Health news. 
Study finds link between drinking some diet soda during pregnancy and autism in boys. The Hill. A study found that boys with autism were more likely to have mothers who consumed diet soda daily while pregnant or breastfeeding compared to boys without autism. Woman paralyzed by botulism after eating farmer's market pesto. New York Daily News. A woman in Brazil was paralyzed for a year after consuming expired pesto from a local farmer's market. She experienced symptoms such as difficulty breathing and tingling tongue before becoming nearly entirely paralyzed. She was diagnosed with a botulism infection caused by toxins in the pesto. After a year of recovery and rehabilitation, she can now move with the help of a walker. She now avoids food from unreliable sources and only shops from trusted manufacturers. Vaccine fatigue setting in as officials urge everyone to get flu, COVID shots, poll, global news. A recent poll conducted in British Columbia found that almost half of the respondents are experiencing vaccine fatigue, which reduces their willingness to get immunized against respiratory viruses. The survey also found that a significant portion of the population is hesitant about getting the flu shot and the COVID-19 vaccine. However, health experts emphasize the importance of getting vaccinated to protect oneself and vulnerable populations. Entertainment news. Explosive SmackDown moments, SmackDown highlights, September 29th, 2023, WWE. The three zodiac signs with beautiful horoscopes during the week of October 2nd to 8, 2023, according to your tango. The energy for the week of October 2nd, 8, 2023, is balanced and will benefit all zodiac signs, with Leo, Virgo, and Gemini feeling the effects the most. The main theme is finding a balance between being an authority and being open to receiving insights from authorities. The astrological energies include Moon conjunct Jupiter and Venus in Leo opposite Saturn retrograde in Pisces. It is a good week for finding a mentor and immersing oneself in a cleansing ritual bath. The three zodiac signs with the best weekly horoscopes are Leo, Virgo, and Gemini. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. I used to think I was indecisive, but now I'm not sure. What did the piece of bread say to the knife? Butter me up. Why was 10 scared of 7? Because 7, 8, 9. Thank you for watching this AGNDD IntelliReport. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.